What y'all see here is my new wig that I purchased. Okay, she's very beautiful and everything, okay? And yes, she is new, okay? But she actually was the last one, so she came right off the mannequin. So I am going to wash her very good before placing her on my head. So let the show begin. Okay, so in order to wash her, okay, Miss Baby Girl, that's what I call her. That's why I decided to name her. She's very soft and pretty. Baby girl. What I'm gonna do is fill up my bathroom sink. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up with a little bit of water. Okay, not too much water, but just enough. And I'm going to wash her with cold time. Yep, I don't use special shampoo. I just use regular strawberries and cream VO5. Okay, so I'm just going to place her in here. And yes, I put a little bit of shampoo on her. That's fine. That's not going to hurt her. Okay. And yep, it's not going to mess with the wig. But what you heard. And you just want to, you know. Okay, you know this was the wig on the mannequin. Because just look at the water. The water is not too... You know, it's not brown or nothing. So that's good. Okay. And you just let her soak. Let your wig soak. Okay. And it's good to have a shampoo with a scent. Okay. Because that scented shampoo is going to make her smell very, very wonderful. And make sure you don't go all in here and everything. I've been washing my wigs like this for years, and believe me, they stay in good shape. Because a lot of women, you know, don't know that you could wash a wig. I know y'all might think that, oh, why wouldn't women know that? Well, not a lot, but there are some women, there's a good amount of women that don't know you're supposed to wash your wig. Okay, look at that. Okay, she's not bad at all. Okay, just let her soak a little bit more. I don't really have to let her soak. There is, you know, I don't have to soak her like as much as I'm going to have to soak the one that I'm actually wearing because I've had her now for about two weeks. I believe it's been two weeks. So, I'm going to soak her. This one, don't have to do it too much because she's pretty much new okay the one y'all see in the sink don't have to soak her too much because she's pretty much new okay so if you did have to soak your wig okay when I do have to soak my legs I soak them, not overnight, but I soak them for like four and five hours. I really do. Five hours the most. Five hours the most. Okay. Like I said, she's pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and let this water out. Okay. I'm making sure all that. She don't have no soap in her or nothing. See, she's still good. She's not messed up or nothing. And the way I dry her, honey, I hang my wigs on a hanger. And child, I hang them right up on the, um, you know how in your shower you have like a, I don't know what you want to call it. Like I guess a, not a banister. But you know, like when you can put your washcloth on, what y'all see me doing now is putting conditioner in her. That makes her nice and soft. Turn off this water because we don't want to be wasting water. Especially when we gotta pay for it. Okay, not we, but me. Yes, I pay water bill. And what I have discovered is, if you run hot water too much, that's when your water bill goes up real high. 
okay? But I don't want to waste water, period. I really don't. So you want to make sure she smells all good. And that's actually kiwi conditioner that I put in her. Because I don't have any more of the strawberry and cream conditioner. That smells so good. But you could use a different kind of conditioner. It's fine. As long as it's something that smells good. Because you don't want your wig stinking. So you got to make sure you use a scented shampoo and a scented conditioner. And like I said, I have never used a wig shampoo in my life. And, you know, since I've been wearing wigs, I always use a regular shampoo and a regular conditioner. Okay. And I don't think it matters if you do that on, if you use it, if you use that type of shampoo on human hair or synthetic hair. I don't think it matters. So I might diff, beg to diff and say, oh, it strips the hair of this and that. Uh, I don't agree with that. Mine's ain't never been stripped or nothing. Ooh, look at that. She gonna bounce so pretty. Ooh, she gonna bounce so nice. I'm gonna just take my hands. I just like to... Not pull it too tight. And you don't want to brush and do all of that to your wig when it's wet. You don't do all of that brushing and stuff because you will mess your wig up. You wait until it gets dry. So you just see me taking the ends and you know, wringing these ends out. Okay, that's baby girl. So beautiful after coming out of the water. 